What's going on YouTube? I just wanted to make a tutorial to talk about 3D maps in Excel. This is an awesome feature of Excel because you can have a really really cool visual of location based data in Excel and you can even make a video to walk people through what the data that you have. So here we have a situation where we have a location, a corresponding zip code to locations and a random generated value. Please note that the location zip codes are randomly generated. Um, and as a note, if your data doesn't have it already, make sure that you have titles for this, uh, for each column. And this is going to, the reason why this is, is going to make it much easier to make your 3D map. So to start, so we're going to highlight the data, including the titles on the top. So shift, control, right arrow, and the down arrow. Now we're going to go to the insert tab. Next, we are going to go to uh, towards the middle towards where right here it says 3d maps and we're going to click open 3d maps and now we are higher in 3d maps and as you can see this is a completely different window inside excel powered by being um, and they have different options up here as to things that you can do with the 3d map so first off we're going to, to add a data into your 3d map so first thing first is it's a presentation we're going to add location based data and we are going and as you can see the titles right here um as i know about the titles as you can see there the value the titles are right here and um yeah so we're going to click zip code for the location and as you can see it defaults to having it as a postal code but there are a variety of different data sources that you can use so you can use latitude and longitude um, we have to have both to use this but X coordinate, Y coordinate, city, a county, region, country, state, province, um, and more. And as you can see, now we have a bunch of little blue dots that don't have tons of meaning yet. But we have a ton of little blue dots for the location data. The for the height we want, so we want the height of each of these little dots, which are going to become rectangles. Um, we want that to vary based on the value. So we are going to have this be on the value. As you can see by clicking on that, they all have different heights and they and you can kind of see the difference between each of them. And as you highlight over each one, you can see the value that um, is in each piece of data. Next, we're going to want to add a legend. So we're going to put that from color code, a city name. So for this, we're going to go to the category. We're going to click location. As you can see, now we have a legend where, where each color right here corresponds to the different bars right here as you highlight over it you can see location as well um and as a note um if you want to have like these labels show up on each of the columns it's not super super easy to do um but it is possible and to do this you have to right click and then you can do add annotation and then you can add the text that you want to see so this is um wrinkled wrinkled georgia so we're going to add annotation and then bring old, bring old Georgia. Um, but as you can see now on the map that shows, and this is great if you want to point out a specific area or if you just want them to be um, there on the map. And you can also right click and then remove annotation right there. Um, you can also have different options to so zoom out, zoom in, and you can make it more flat. You can get more of a bird's eye view, R rotate it as much as you would like to. And then you can also, for example, find location. So if you have a bunch, of, which you can also have different options up here. So you can, for example, add map labels. So as you can see, um, it takes seconds to load, and I'm going to get rid of this right here. Or make it smaller as you can see it takes like a second for it to load but this is cool because you can kind of see where the locations are and where your piece of data are relative to different locations you can find the location so let's just say we want to find Florida I want to zoom in on Florida as you can see the egg zooms in on Florida and here we have it you can make the map flat so can we give her some instances even um and you can also like change the shape of the data so let's just say right here you want it to be 
these little column things, you can do that, make it a circle, make it a triangle, whatever you, you feel would best fit your needs. You can also change data right here. So you can make them clustered, um, which might be good in some situations. So you can make them different size circles, which which you can change as well. If you want to visualize it for filling the entire region, so you can do that. If you want to have a little heat map for each value, you can do that as well. Um, for this situation, you're going to have it just as little um, bars for each one. So going back to square, going back to category for the location. You can even make a little video tour of your 3D map. So here, as you can see, we have a scene right here. I'm going to edit this um, to a little bit more towards my liking. So to have each one be two seconds, initial position be one second. And then right here, we're going to start over here, make a little um, 3D tour of some of the data. So we're going to have a new scene. Move it a little bit. Have a new scene. Move it a little bit. Have a new scene. Zoom in. Have a new scene. Move it a bit. Have a new scene. Zoom in a bit more. Have a new scene. And then we're going to change it a bit. Have a new scene. And then we're going to click play tour. And as you can see, it gives a kind of a basic um, video tour of the data that you have. And this is great too because you can even use like a software if you want to talk over your data for as well. Excel doesn't allow you to talk over your data, but this is something that you can um, do as well. And, and then you can even save it as a video, and you can even save it as a video and send the video to other people if you'd like to. So that being said, I hope that you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, thank you so much. Have a great day.